Ever wondered why the ocean seems to breathe with its water level rising and falling twice a day? You might think you know the answer, but the story behind the tides is wilder than you imagine. Most of us learned in school that the moon's gravity pulls on the earth, creating a bulge of water on the side closest to it. That's the high tide, right? But here's the mind-bending part. There's another high tide on the opposite side of the planet at the same exact time. Why? It's because the moon isn't just pulling on the water, it's pulling on the entire earth. The solid earth gets pulled toward the moon, leaving the water on the far side behind, creating a second bulge. So we get two high tides and two low tides every single day. And the sun gets in on this action too, creating super high spring tides and weaker neap tides. But for centuries before science explained all this, people came up with their own incredible stories. In Norse mythology, they believed the tides were caused by the mighty Thor. He once drank a huge amount of the ocean from a giant's horn, and when he breathed out, the water surged back, creating the tides. Other legends tell of a giant sea creature, a dragon, or a turtle at the bottom of the ocean, whose rhythmic breathing causes the sea to rise and fall. So next time you're at the beach watching the waves roll in, remember, you're not just witnessing gravity at work. You're part of an ancient cosmic dance that has mystified and inspired humanity for all of time.